Christian Wakeford wanted a new party leader, and now he's got one. He led the charge calling for a vote of no confidence for Boris Johnson. But now he's crossed the floor and defected to Labour. Wakeford wasn't the only Conservative who wanted to see the back of Johnson. He was one of a number of Tories elected to office in 2019, who now hold the Prime Minister's future in their hands. But in the game of political chess, Wakeford's move may have been at the sacrifice of his cause. He no longer has a vote, and backbenchers who plan to file letters of no confidence alongside him are now rethinking their position in the name of party unity. Well, I think you know, a defection to the Labour Party from the Conservative benches is extremely rare and therefore it galvanises support uh, on the Conservative benches. Um, but I do think we are seeing a, a momentum building. Wakeford was elected as the Tory MP for Bury South as part of a wave of Conservative support in Northern England. Before he won the seat, the constituency voted Labour at every election since 1997. Some are calling for Wakeford to trigger a by-election, especially since he backed a bill in 2020 that would allow MPs who changed their political party to be recalled. Wakeford's constituency seemed divided about his decision. Good on him. I think he's a, a politician who has thrown his career down the pan. How he's arrived at this decision, I'm not quite sure. But one thing they seem to agree on is that Johnson has got to go. Why is it right for everybody else to be in lockdown and he's having a party? Jolly jolly. People have resigned for less and, you know, I think the right option is to apologise to the nation and to resign. If he doesn't know the rules and, his own, and he's made up the rules, then I think it's time for him to go. But it isn't these constituents who have the power to remove the Prime Minister. And by crossing the floor, their MP no longer has the power to implement their will.